now see the current that will be assigned to the coil highlighting. The next thing to do is to apply material to the plate. The plate will be assigned as a piece of copper. And now we see the color reflecting the copper. We have many viewing options that, that are available here. If you prefer to see your geometry as solids, you can always go to a solid view. However, this does tend to mask the interior effects that you are often looking for. A user of Faraday can experiment with the many views here, including translucent settings, for example. The problem is now a completely specified physical problem. We have the geometry in place, we have the source, which is a current in place, and we have materials assigned. So we can now proceed to solve the model. You may notice that the solver is not putting a mesh through the empty space or even through the entire volumes of the materials as many people would expect based on other experience. The reason is that the default solver is a boundary element solver as shown under analysis method here. There is also a finite element solver available which is more familiar to a lot of people but the boundary element solver is the default because it is usually shown to be the faster way to a good solution. Once a model has been solved, the field analysis result dialog pops open here. And from this analysis dialog, we're able to make plots of various types. So for example, we can confirm the distribution of current flowing in the plate due to the oscillating magnetic field from the coil. So we can choose to do a fine density plot on a surface and I'm choosing here the surface um, interior to the copper plate. So what we see here, if we zoom in, is the real part of the induced eddy currents within the copper. You can see, as expected, they are highest near the coil and decay away by the skin effect as we leave the surface. In order to get a better idea about the values everywhere, a user may prefer to look at this logarithmically. Click Log Scale, Apply Settings, and now you can see the color scale has changed it substantially because it, the spacing now covers many orders of magnitude. We can also display more nicely by using a gradient color rather than the continuous color. So with the gradient you see a smoother transition in the plot.